Good morning, folks. This is Longshot1982 here with another review. Today we're going to be reviewing probably my favorite superhero throughout history. He's pretty much that type of guy that's a great symbol of overcoming challenges that no matter what happens to you, you can still rise above the rest and prove that you are not worthless, that you are a person. And you have a lot to offer. And in this guy's case, well, he kind of did a little overboard. But that's okay. Today we're going to be reviewing the Daredevil Comiquette by Sideshow Collectibles. This piece to me is the best portrayal of the Daredevil in statue form. I have not seen a better display of the Daredevil other than this. This is my favorite Daredevil statue. As with most of my reviews, I like to show where it all came from. Today, this is the Daredevil number one from 1964. This is my own personal copy. Uh, I love the Daredevil that much. I had to get my hands on his first appearance. This is not just the first appearance of the Daredevil. It's also the first appearance of Foggy Nelson and Karen Pate. Uh, Daredevil, you know, obviously is, uh, his real name is Matt Murdock. And as a child, uh, he was blinded by a, a chemical spill accident while he was trying to, uh, run away after he found out what kind of man his father was. Uh, here it is. This is the piece itself. This piece has a lot to offer. This is not the exclusive edition. I actually prefer not to have the exclusive edition. Uh, I had a chance to get one, but it, there's just too many pieces. Uh, what it is is the unmasked portrait of Matt Murdock, uh, which I like the sculpt, but I prefer the red mask better personally, and a switch-out hand with his uh, hand holding the, the mask that he's removed. Uh, another perk to this is that the the gravestones are interchangeable. Right here, I happen to put Jack Murdoch, the father. Let me just take that off for you. Oops. That's okay. They're a little tight to get on there. Here's Jack Murdoch. It comes with Electra, too, another headstone piece, and it comes with the blank one. The magnets are very strong on this, by the way. Very strong, very hard to get off, which is good. Uh, it has a blank one in case you wanted to paint the name of somebody you, I guess, maybe would like to remember or uh, you know, commemorate, you know, through your artwork. If you would like to show that you have respect, you know, for them. The base of this thing is absolutely fantastic. It's uh, on top of like a moss, uh, you know, like a moist cemetery uh, where, you know, there'd be moss growing. The detail in the gravestone looks like real stone. It was sculpted perfectly. There was no shortcuts with this piece at all. The only gripe that I have with this piece is getting Daredevil on top of this headstone is absolutely maddening. You have to get the pins right here just right. And if you're not careful, you can just rub some of the paint from his thumb onto the tombstone. Putting his thing on is a bigger pain in the ass than the Cota Bukia one. Can't hold a candle. This thing got me so frustrated. I'm like, maybe I should just glue it on top of the thing. I'm just going to glue it on top. It got that frustrating trying to put this stupid thing on. Once it's on, it's not going anywhere. It's a beast. It's, it's, it's like a trophy almost. Look how beautiful the detail is here. The skull. There's a wraparound branch that goes all the way around. The entire piece. It's it definitely a home run. They don't make pieces like this anymore. It's heavy as hell as well. It's very, very sturdy piece. Also, so it's really, you know, it's, it's a win-win with this guy. As with the Daredevil as always. My, our favorite blind superhero. Now, when uh, Stan Lee first wanted to introduce the Daredevil to the uh, to the public, he wasn't sure. He said this in an interview. He wasn't sure if the people would take to a blind superhero. 
he didn't want to offend the blind community, as the great Stanley is very accommodating. But he tried it anyway, and look what happened. I mean, everybody fell in love with this guy. And what's there not to fall in love with? Like I said before, he's a symbol of overcoming challenges. You can become blind and still learn how to fight, learn how to learn how to become a lawyer, get your law degree. I mean, this guy just, you know, he got blind, didn't stop the man at all. And that's why I love him so much. That's what brings me to just love this superhero so much and relate as far as overcoming challenges. Well, that's it, folks. This is Longshot's review of the Daredevil Comicette by Sideshow Collectibles. Please sub me. I'd really appreciate it. And please comment. I would like to know what you think of this review. Have a great day.